as leaders, you need to be visible to people. You, people need to know who you are and what you do and I guess what you stand for by empowering women from STEM disciplines to enter into leadership roles helps to hopefully have an impact on global leaders. It's really about focusing on the decision making around the health of the planet. I'm a soil scientist. I was selected for the Homeward Bound Leadership Program that finishes with an intensive leadership training section in Antarctica on a boat. <laughs>what I want to work on, I guess it's a bit of a passion of mine, is to improve science communication. The problem in New Zealand is um, we have a, a lot of environmental pollution from agriculture. If we can communicate science better and connect people a little bit more, that we could have a bit more understanding and actually find a common ground. Just doing a little bit of preparation for <laughs> the voyage. Antarctica is somewhere that not many people get to go. It's um, the fastest warming place in the world. We try to minimise our biosecurity impact as much as possible by vacuuming out our gear. Um, we have to clean everything. I haven't really got everything organised, but I've just thrown stuff into this bag that I think I might be taking. Fleece pants, merino thermals, seasickness patches. <laughs> even a full-on balaclava thing. The type of training that we do is quite intensive from what I hear, so being in a, a zone of kind of complete isolation from other aspects of the world is, a, is the best way to um, create change. For me, it's really about being connected with the other women on the program and the the incredible network of people around the world who are doing really, really cool things and really, they're just, they're game changers. I guess I, I'd love to be like one of those people, but <laughs> being connected with them is uh, probably the next best thing. <laughs>